Hey everyone, guess what time it is? It's design time. Last week on my other channel, I did a video about this tidying up method by Marie Kondo. She wrote this book and says that it's life-changing to organize and declutter spaces in your home. And I thought I'd follow up a week later with what's going on in there. Since this is the first time that I'm talking about this on this channel, I am gonna go over a couple of things in here that I find pretty interesting. So in last week's video, I took absolutely everything out of my closet, put it right here on this bed, and went through each and every piece, evaluating whether or not I wanted to keep it or not. Now, it's not just a matter of do I want this or don't I? It is a question of, does this item spark joy? In other words, do I feel happy when seeing or handling this piece of clothing? Oh, I forgot to mention, it's called KonMarie. KonMarie, KonMarie. The method that she explains in here and what I did to my closet. I will tell you that I think I set myself up for failure because I didn't decide whether each and every piece sparked joy. I did not feel it up and show gratitude and tell it thank you or goodbye. What I did do was follow the instructions for folding. I thought the whole idea of folding a certain way so that you could see everything in a drawer was a great idea. Basically with tops you fold them lengthwise in thirds then in half, then in thirds again. And if it stands up straight, you've done it correctly. And with t-shirts, it starts out the same way, lengthwise. Fold in thirds, fold the sleeves over, fold in half, then in thirds. And with pants, it's simply fold them in half lengthwise, tuck the crotch in, fold them in half, then in thirds. Well, I did that. Keyword there, did. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. Let's go. Here's the chair that originally had all kinds of clothes on it, all clean but not put away. That chair is still tidied up. When we get to my closet, I hung up all the hangers that were originally in this empty drawer, still another empty drawer, and we still have the tank tops that are folded properly. But I'll tell you right here, I know that this is a pair of sweatpants within all of my shirts. This sweatshirt right here that I put away recently is not only inside out, but it's not folded in thirds because I was too lazy. And check this out. Bye. Here's the worst part. These are my pajamas. None of them are folded properly in this drawer. And lastly, what was it in this drawer? It was these pants. I just rolled them up and threw them in there. In other words, this particular organizing and tidying up method is probably not gonna last long with me. So what I got out of this book, at least in my closet, there are many areas of the house that this book helps you organize and declutter. I chose my closet because it was the biggest mess and I knew that there would be a ton of clothes that I had to say goodbye to. Now, I didn't personally say goodbye to each and every one of them, but they are out of my closet and now I have a lot more room. I feel a lot more organized and as far as decluttering, there's still some clutter in there. And as far as the one week follow-up, yes, it was only one week, but already I have put clothes in there that I did not fold properly according to this book and I've placed a couple of things where they don't belong. That's how fast it can go awry. Anyway, that's it for me and this video on how I con read my closet and the events that followed. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time on Design Time. Bye.